Hey guys, welcome back. I got something really neat today. Um, I had some of them already, got some in the mail today. I um, want to recognize some people. There's some more just up there leaning against the wall, sitting pretty. So, as most of you guys know, me coming into this thing late, as far as getting back into the hobby, <laughs> I was in it, you know, as a kid. I'm 45 years old, so I was out, gosh, you know, almost 30 years, I guess. I missed a lot. I missed a lot. But I was able to, through friends, and uh, they have sent me these. I just got some in today. James Maroon sent me, sent me a whole bunch of them. Ed Young sent me one the other day. Another man that's a good friend of mine that wishes not to have his name mentioned. <laughs> he sent me a lot too. Um, but I've got a couple of magazines that are super cool um, that I want to I want to show some stuff to you guys. And most of you probably have already seen this. Probably have these magazines in your in your collection, but I don't. And I'm beginning to have a collection now, and it's really cool. Um, but it. Um, Ed, yeah, this is the one Ed sent. Ed Young sent this one the other day. I called and talked to Ed on the phone. Great guy. Contest cards. Now, this one's not just your, it is Scale Auto, but it's the Scale Auto 2004 contest cards. It's, um, oh, that's awful bright. Sorry. It's, uh, it's, it's pictures of the show winners. So the show winning cars are all through this so this book is completely about the different shows throughout that year and it gives you in, in the table of contents it gives you all the shows has the southern nationals and smyrna um tons of them but this one is so cool because like i say it just shows the show winners it just, that's it it's the show winner cars or not you know the winners but the the i guess maybe it is just the winners by the way if you've never been to like the acme the southern nationals i've only been once and i was totally blown away because you see stuff like this uh, this was phoenix out in phoenix 2003 um copper state model championship and swap but you see stuff like this that you just are totally blown away i was not i went to my first show in um north charleston south carolina um, my friend Kevin Morgan that just passed away two weeks ago yesterday, he and I went to that show. He met me up there. He also met um, met up with Lucas C and I, and we stayed in the same hotel in uh, at at Acme. And I just went to uh, just went to um, just really quick side note went to uh, Kevin's memorial service uh, Sunday yesterday the twenty fourth and. Uh, you guys remember his wife Lori. She's she's having a tough time with with Kevin's passing. Anyway, but we went and and my first show was in Ch North Charleston and it was I was blown away at that one, but nothing nothing I say compared to when I went to Atlanta. It was amazing and I, I just can't say enough about the talent that shows up to places like this. Hey, look at that guy. That could be me. That looks kind of like the one I did. I didn't lower mine down, nor did I have a bicycle in the back. But yeah, thanks to Ed for this this magazine. I've looked through it. The show rods. There you go, Kim. Kim's Custom Garage. He loves show rods. They are cool. There's the pie wagon or whatever they call it. There's the uh, Batmobile. Totally decked out pro stock there or that might be a pro mod that's got a supercharger on it that's a pro mod see how i knew the difference y'all didn't think i knew anything i built that um yep i built that um market hobby nut model sent me the hearst harry olds anyways i'll flip through this thing i've got a few other cool things to look at that two engines on that dude holy cow there's a cool fair lane Man, that's an awesome. 66 Fairlane, or I guess is what that is. Um, it's B. 
what is it 66 yep 66 fairlane you don't get much better looking car than that 66 fairlane all right well, thanks ed for sending me this book i've already looked it over many times already look at that i'm telling you man that's the kind of stuff you see at acme it's like how did they get their fingers down there to do that speaking of acme and getting your fingers down there to do that there's a guy that i met at acme and he's got a he's got a uh article here in this one this is the 2013 scale auto and you see the top the heading there weathering made easy by clay kemp i met clay kemp at at acme he's even watched some of my videos and commented i was like man a professional was actually watching my stuff sometimes maybe but i saw this he has a weathering technique i didn't i thought he only did nascars he had a nascar there that took one of the top places anyway it was amazing but then i didn't know he could do raunchy old rusted out trucks either but this article goes and shows you how to um he goes and step by step process of what he does to to make it look rusty you actually you know he actually like right there takes and drills the plastic thin on top of a sponge it looks like so uh that's really cool i've got to do that i've weathered some but i've not i've never really got in there and rusted them up he even did the snow plow i didn't even notice i had the snow plow yeah it's got the snow plow on the front of it but to make it what what talent i see some talent in the model car hobby that is just absolutely amazing look at that see my weathering kind of looks like an accident his stuff looks intentional that's the difference it doesn't look accidental like oops i didn't mean to do that here let me sand it a little deep and it got into the primer like kind of like i do but anyway that's a cool um cool article there and fortunate to make meet clay kemp and uh, have some interactions with him on um on youtube um yes on youtube here is um so james maroon did i already mention james i don't think i did james maroon sent me a stack of them today and some really cool <laughs> james james sent me a he sent me an email or a, or a message i forget it was an email or message but anyway um he says i also sent you some stuff that makes no sense it makes total sense james and uh if lucas c watches watches this uh video um uh james sent me the 1983 best of circus oh man look at look at all these names def leopard acdc in the in the prime too not they're not old guys yet <laughs> duran duran van halen judas priest billy squire but yeah it uh i um i know lucas c used to be into heavy metal and uh boy would he like to see this magazine um but james hey it's totally fine it's not model related at all but this is cool stuff this is cool stuff he said he also sent the hit parader yearbook from 1983 uh, oh i censored better cover that up but anyway yeah cool stuff cool stuff thanks james um also the uh so he sent me a stack and it also had this in it which is awesome monogram's 50th anniversary i'm sorry for the glare 50th anniversary um catalog and this is from let me see what year it's from 50th anniversary i don't even know what year 95 okay so it's from 1995 so you open it up and it's like this front page is really thick it's got almost like this a uh, uh, this plaque tells you about um, their golden anniversary and you open that up and it's got I'm trying to keep the glare off of this it's got all the kits um, 50th 50th anniversary 1945 to 1995 um, the releases that year bunch of cool stuff bunch of cool stuff like the little coffin that's a cool one the the 1954 pickup that is a cool kit I'm gonna build one of those soon and I've also got this, the 55 Chevy convertible. I built that one, turned out great. And I've also got another one in the box. But I'm going to flip through here and I'm thinking I'm going to try to move this, maybe the angle. 
won't be so bad or the glare won't be so bad i don't know i don't do star trek sorry so when i get to this kind of stuff i'm just gonna thumb through and get to the cars we're car guys these are snap tights i don't really do snap tights either there's some pretty cool snaps but i want to get to the glue together stuff although that judge right there is it's nice snap together I don't do space shuttles I don't do airplanes I do this and I do that because I have that kit right above my head I'm looking at it right now as you guys are looking at this one these old sprint car kits are so cool by monogram they were they're so detailed they're they're awesome so there's 22 who's to 22 in 1995 who was that um, I can't see the name or I don't know um, uh, Lasaski, is that his name? It's not Swindell. No, Sammy Swindell. What's the number with Sammy Swindell and then Danny Lasaski? Maybe that's who that was. Maybe that was Danny Lasaski. I don't know. Got the NASCAR kits here, the combo kits that they sold, I think. Um, here's here's my friend Chris Callen's page. He likes these big land barges. Hey, there's the 57. I've got uh, one of those and a friend of mine, gosh, I forget his name right now. I'm sorry, but sent me some parts that I needed for that one. Um, 55 Chevy Street Machine. Cool kits. I've got this one. Oh, hold on. I don't have monogram. I have. Yeah, I do too. I've got that one, but it's the original release. It's the one out of the 80s, not the 1995 release. Got it up there. Oh, man pretty sure yep that this two-in-one dodge here uh the plymouth gtx two-in-one i've got that i got it for what ten dollars at the jack's con show in the plastic still check it out but check that mustang out right there good grief that one looks nice boss 429 mustang nice kits monogram has made some fine model cars i've got that one too still still in its plastic there's the heavy Chevy. That was a popular one. I remember seeing that as a kid. Heavy Chevy. There's the old smoking the bandit. Boss 302. I'm not going to just sit here and go through all of them. The 69 Dodge 446 pack. There's your uh, GT350 Mustang. There's the glue together uh, GTO. And there's some more of these. Uh, the Malibu. Is this the flip nose? Yeah. It is because you can see the body pins. Flip nose Malibu. That's what Lucas C was working on for a long time. You need to get back on that thing and let's get it finished, Lucas C. I want to see that. Adventures of building a model car. Part 50. But there's a couple of those. Hey, and there's my air compressor, by the way. My wife's been using it today and I didn't think it would turn on. I actually turned it off earlier, turned the air valve off, and it's still on. Who cares about a Corvette? I'm not a Corvette guy, although between my mom and I, we have a 1988 Corvette convertible with 86,000 miles on it. Um, that is an awesome paddy wagon show rod, and then the uh, 39 Chevy Coupe. That's a that's a neat, I, very gaudy as far as the flames go. I know I'm having to talk louder of this dumb air compressor outside, but that that's a, a popular kit, but it just had the gaudiest looking. Um, flames quadzilla I've got one of these the original night I've got it from when I was a kid I'm looking at it right now it's from 1985 I've got that kit um, my friend Troy Roberts sent me this one 55 Ford it's the same one that Miss Heather built and hey guys look at that I'm actually working on that one as we speak well not as we speak but you know what I mean and I've got that kit cool 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 um, there's the 50 Ford Got a couple of those. I've got the remnants of this truck. I built it as a kid. Um, didn't have the dually, but boy, would you like to get your hands on either that square body Chevy or that Bronco right there. Oh, yeah. And then I don't do... I, I love aircraft. Aircraft are... I love aircraft. I just don't like... I don't want to build them as a, you know... I just don't want to build them. I do like a P-38, though. David Chin's working on a P-38 right now. There you go, David. But anyway, 
Um, I have something else before I lose you. I have something else that's not uh, specifically model car related, but um, by the way, I, I text Tom White before I made this video, um, Rambler 69, Tom White, old Tom, and I asked, because I know he's in scale auto, I asked if, um, so Tom, I, I did um, look, I don't have any of the issues, he's in like five or six issues of scale auto and the model cars, but I think that's also scale model. Well, maybe not. Um, but I don't have any of those issues yet. But anyway, thanks for sending me those pictures of those magazines. Um, okay, so I've got a cool thing here. So I've got a popular... Th this is something that I came about. I've had it for a long time. This is a December 1965 Popular Mechanics. 35 cents. Popular Mechanics were the cool cool magazines when I was a, a kid. I would go to the library or wherever and look at Popular Mechanics magazines. They were cool. But I was looking through this one to see if there's anything model related. Not really. They did have a Revell slot car. Um, but that's not what I'm going to look at. What I want to show you something. I want to show you this. I'm trying to do it as gently as possible because it doesn't want to open. It doesn't want to open. Hey, those beer bottles hadn't changed a bit. But anyway... It's this. It's okay. So I did not know. I was since I was flipping through this earlier. I did not know this. So Jay, I like to watch Jay Leno's Garage. He has a Pontiac. Um, I guess it's a Trans Am, Firebird or something, whatever it is, Firebird, that has the overhead cam six. They make a model of that. I don't know what year model it is. You guys, that's what, I want, that's what I'm kind of throwing this out there to see if you guys can help me out. Anyway, they make a, uh, a model kit that it has the V8 or the six-cylinder. Because when I went to the North Charleston SCMA show, I saw that car. They had someone built one. I also saw it at Acme, I believe. And it had the six-cylinder overhead cam six. And someone told me before that they make that kit. But I did not know that you could get that engine in a low mines so I, and what Jay Leno said is when you got done paying for the expensive they wanted to um they wanted to compete with Ferrari and things like that right so their overhead cam they're 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 more of a, a Ferrari and things like that were more of a a high revving overhead cam I don't know just more European style and that so Pontiac went for that but he said after you paid for all that, you got an engine that had less horsepower than the cheaper V8, so it didn't sell much. So, um, I'm, I, let me read some. This is just cool. But it, uh, let me get back to the point before I, I lose. I, I'll totally get off track and lose my point. Lose my point. This is a. Let's see. What the heck is this? What year lot model of Mons? It's got okay. Wide track Pontiac 66. Le Mans. Do they make a... Do I... I might have one. I don't even realize it. Do they make... A, do they make a 66 Le Mans? Or a 66 GTO? I guess would be the same thing, wouldn't it? But do they make one and then maybe... Somebody could do it? Or I could get the kit? I'm saying somebody... It would be cool... If, if someone got that overhead cam engine and put one in a Le Mans, because I didn't know they came in a Le Mans. Had no idea. But, um, hey, let me read this real quick. Our new six has only 15 cubic inches more displacement than the conventional pushrod engine it replaces, but 24 or 25 more horsepower. With the availability, with the available sports package featuring four barrel quadrajet carburetor and split manifold. Horsepower is incre increased by 42 to 207 horsepower at, at 5,200 RPM. Isn't that crazy that you can now get a Mustang with like 700 horsepower or something like that? And, and Corvettes with, I, I don't know, just insane amounts of horsepower. And they were like seriously bragging that it was 42 more horsepower at 207. So... So whatever it was replacing, I guess the uh, 
the uh, traditional six cylinder. Jeez, it only had like what? A hundred and sixty something like horsepower. That's that's insane. And we got stuff today that's like rockets faster, like literally ten times faster. But anyway, my point with this whole reading this little or looking at this article is it sure would be neat to take a Le Mans if they if they make them a, a Le Mans kit and find that uh, Firebird kit and take that six cylinder and put in that Le Mans. That would be a unique build. Okay, enough said about that. All right, and I think it's pretty much enough said about about everything. I want to thank Ed, James, um, for for sending me these magazines, and uh, the other guy that sent me these other magazines. You know who you are. Thank you so much, guys, for doing that. You guys are very supportive of me. Um, I couldn't do a lot of the things that I do in this hobby because without rather your support. Your support is greatly appreciated and I never want you to think that it's not. So thank you to you guys who have sent me things. Um, trust me, I don't just throw them on the shelf and forget about it. These are, these are things that are on the forefront of my mind that I'm, I'm always thinking, when can I do it? What can I do with it? Sometimes you guys throw an idea at me and then I want to try to incorporate that into something. Um, a lot comes at me and I do forget a lot, but um, again, thank you so much for everything. I missed Scale Auto. I, I was, I was, it, it went out when I came in for the most part. And uh, for you guys that are sending me these magazines so I can look back and kind of see where things were, were heading and, and things like that. It's so cool. So thanks for your support, guys. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. If you hadn't hit the like button, I hear that helps. Um, hit the like button, subscribe. Um, Oh, uh, Facebook group. Go check out the Facebook group. Go join if you haven't. I'm sure most of you have, but if you have not joined our Facebook group, Model Car Videos Facebook group, go. It's linked in the description. Along with everything else that I'm going to mention, go join there. Go check out Hobby Nut Models. Go grab you some great MCW paint that you can paint and get some, some show quality paint jobs. Um, takes a little work, takes a little practice, but you can do it. And that's a great line of paint. Mark's got it over there at Hobby Nut Models. Tons of color. So go check that out. Also, uh, check out the Teespring store. Go grab yourself a t-shirt or something like that. A sticker, a coffee mug. And uh, my Patreons. We're going to have... Uh, this is Monday evening. Tuesday, which you'll probably be seeing this tomorrow. Um, we're having a live stream with the guys on Patreon. So if you're not a member of Patreon, I encourage you to go become a member. Then you can jump on and we can all talk model cars for hours until people got to go to bed but anyway guys thanks so much for your support thanks for watching the video and um until the next one i'm working on some stuff it's over here on the bench working on some stuff getting it going got a pro pro street that i gotta work get get back to work on fred henry's gonna beat me to the punch but anyway guys thanks for watching and we will see you later <laughs>